What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be talking about drones. One of my favorite things. So maybe you just got your first drone. You put it up in the air, you're wondering why your shots kind of suck compared to everything you see on social media. Maybe they're shaky, maybe they're boring, maybe they're not adding to your story. Maybe you're not getting client work out of them. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to get your shots looking more professional, more cinematic, more smooth, and shots that will hopefully get you better paying jobs. So the first thing we gotta keep in mind is nobody cares about your B-roll unless it adds to your story. So before you even start shooting with a drone, you gotta be thinking about why you're shooting with a drone and what are you showing to the viewers. Let's say for example, you're in a place like this. Looks pretty normal, right? If you didn't have a drone with you, here's what you'd be missing. So once you start using a drone like this as a tool to either deliver information to the viewer or as a way to bring them along on a journey with you, you're gonna start getting a lot more thoughtful and a lot more interesting drone shots and it's gonna make your videos a lot better. These things are pretty good. Second one today. I'm trying to stay hydrated, getting over being sick for a week. So when you're starting off on drones, my best tip is to start off keeping it super simple. And that's gonna be either pushing in or rotating around something. That's pretty much all you need to do. You don't need to be doing FPV shots where you're like flying through things and around things. For most videos, that doesn't really matter. You're just trying to give some information and context to the viewer. So just like, just like any other creative person, you're probably gonna get bored with those if you do them too much. And so I've got some tips coming up that are gonna help you spice those up to the next level. So the next thing we're gonna be looking at is using your foreground in order to make more dynamic movement in your shots, which makes them look a lot more cinematic and thoughtful and just a lot more of a cool experience for the viewers. So when you're thinking about your foreground, you gotta think, you gotta do a little bit lower shot so that your drone's closer to things so that they can be in between the lens and the subject. So when your drone's moving, it creates a lot more interesting shot that shows movement and you can show a lot more information about the area or the context or what's around the object that you're filming. And it just makes it look super legit, super cinematic. People like it. So as you can see in this shot, it's a pretty good shot. Not too much going on, but then if we put it real closer to the trees, we start to get a lot more movement in the shot and it becomes just a lot more visually interesting. This is definitely one of the big things that's gonna make you stand out compared to all the other droneographers, as whatever they call them. <laughs> So my real number one tip is that unless you live somewhere that's already 70 degrees like it is in Virginia right now, uh, always fly your drone from in your car because guess what? No distractions, you can focus, you're in the shade so you can actually see your screen and it feels great.
All right, guys, so this last drone trick is going to be the one thing that set my business apart from a lot of other people, made people start noticing what I was up to and my style, and it's really simple, actually. So let me show you guys what to do. So basically, you got pushing in, you got pulling away, you got parallax, and you've got like just straight horizontal side to side. That's pretty much most drone shots. But to spice them up, instead of just doing one movement, one axis, we're gonna be doing multiple. So we're gonna go straight towards our subject, but you're gonna add a tilt or a pan up. This shot is gonna be starting out, pointing down at the woods, and then it's gonna be going flying forward while panning up, and it's gonna reveal that you're in this mountain range. The point of this is that you're going to show more instead of just like a straight shot. So you're going to give a lot more perspective for the viewer and it's basically just going to make a lot more interesting video. Okay, the next thing we can do is you can literally just move your drone up, so vertically going up, and then we're also going to be panning down and it just kind of creates this like just really cool kind of like trippy effect. Super simple, right? But it's gonna really make your shots look a lot more thoughtful and a lot more dynamic. The last one is parallax, tracking, moving up or down, and away or forward. So super complicated, but I've got a really simple way to do it. So. Basically, you're just gonna go into your DJI app or whatever drone you have, probably has a tracking mode, and you are going to put it on tracking. Let's just use real estate as an example. You're gonna draw a square around your house, and then you're gonna push go, and it's gonna start orbiting the house really, really slowly, okay, on its own, while keeping the house locked in the center of the frame. So, basically your drone's doing most of the work for you, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna control two axes to make it a super crazy dynamic shot. I've used this a lot for real estate and clients always just like, how did you do that? Like, it just blows their mind because really, it's kind of, it would be really, really hard to do without any of these automatic things. So what you're gonna do is while it's circling, while it's circling around the house, you're gonna pull away and raise the drone. So it's backing up to reveal more of the story and it's going up to reveal even more of the context. So basically you just get, here's the subject. So you get this crazy shot where your drone's going like this and like, but the whole time it's keeping it just locked in on the house or whatever your subject is. It could be a person, that'd be really cool. So super, super crazy shot, but if you're able to get it and if you understand what I'm saying, um, you can use it strategically to where it just like makes you look like this like really, 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 really good drone pilot. You don't want to overdo it, but if it's actually serving a purpose and getting more information into your video, clients are going to notice that and appreciate it and it's going to help them stand out and it's going to help your videos stand out too. Even if it's like a vlog or something, just having really cool dynamic shots, it, it just is super interesting and it makes a really big difference in the production value. Check it out. Just got this notification from YouTube. We are at 100 subscribers. So just wanted to quickly jump in here and say thank you guys so much for all the support and for viewing my videos, for taking the time to watch them. I really hope that they're bringing value to you guys and I hope you guys stay along for the ride. Definitely still getting the hang of things, but I'm trying to post at least a video per week. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you will be up to date on the latest videos. But I would love to see your drone shots. Um, so tag me on Instagram or leave a link in the comments. If you tag me on Instagram, my Instagram's Taylor R. Brown. That's about it for this week. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.